Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my tutorial and today I'm going to teach you how to curl a card. There are two main applications when you curl a card when you're doing a magic trick. Number one, it's either you um, control the card to the very bottom or second from bottom or third from bottom or number two, you force the card on them. Let's, I'll show an example. Let's say you spread out the cards and then the spectator chooses this card right here, the eight of diamonds. And in a smooth fluid motion, in the process of closing the cards and squaring up the cards, what I've actually done is that I control the eight of diamonds to the very bottom like so, okay? Or you can, that's a way of controlling to the bottom. Or you can actually force a card. Let's say you want to force the eight of diamonds to the spectator, okay? And let's say they chose for say this one, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to square it up and they actually chose the eight of diamonds. Now this is all, this can be done by curling a card. So basically, this is, in an exposed view, this is what it looks like. Let's say they chose this card. What you're going to do is you're going to actually pull out the card, see I'll in jog it so you can see it. Actually, for this tutorial, let's use a red card so it's a lot easier to see. Let's say they chose this red card. You're going to pull it like this and I'm gonna in jog it for this tutorial sake. And basically you're going to pull it out until you hear a click and then you're going to curl all the cards underneath and bring it to the very bottom like this. Okay, in more detail, I'll show you from the very opposite side. So let's say that you chose this card. Basically, you're going to be in this position. You're going to, first of all, control it by doing this. You're gonna show them their card by holding up like this, okay? And then what you're going to do is, after you show them, you're going to bring up your right hand. Remember, you want to keep the spread out like this so you can conceal the card later on. So when you, after you show them, you're gonna bring your right hand up and then you're going to make contact and then while you're bringing it down, you're going to pull the red card to your right hand like this. See what I just did there? I don't know if the camera caught that, but the red card is here now, okay? So in an exposed view from the bottom, this is what it looks like. You're gonna bring it down and so this, the six of hearts is their card and basically using your right middle finger and right index finger, these two fingers here and here, you're going to take the six of hearts and bring it up all the way to here, okay? From there, you're going to start going through all the cards like this and basically notice how cards are getting curled and you can actually control the six of hearts to the very bottom of the deck. I hope the camera caught that because that was very hard. Um, so again, let's say you they chose the red card again. You're going to spread out the cards like so, so you can have some cover at the end later. And then let's say they chose this card. You're going to show them that. And then from here, I actually have one tip when you, uh, if you're having a hard time at the start. Um, at the start, what I did was that I used my left thumb to grab onto this card right here. I'll show this card. So I came in contact with the four of clubs while my middle finger was grabbing onto this red card right here, okay? My middle finger at the back uh, of my right hand came in contact with the red card and my uh, thumb of my left hand came in contact with this card. So um, when I curl it, what doesn't actually happen is that the four of clubs don't come in like this. So this actually helps with curling if you're a beginner. So use your left thumb, then bring it, uh, using your th um, right middle finger and your ring finger, you're going to bring the uh, red card until you hear the click. See, um, once the cards break, it's gonna click like that, okay? That's what you want to feel. You're not going to hear it, but you're going to feel it for sure. Once you hear, uh, feel a click, then you're good to go and you're uh, good to close the spread. And in that process, you can bring it to the very bottom. Now, if you wanted to control the card to second from the bottom, it's really simple. It's the same process. So you have this, you're in this situation. Let's get rid of the four of clubs. You're going to control it and you're going to curl it again. See, it's right here now. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go through all the cards and on the very last card, 
you're going to stop curling it and you're actually going to close it like so, okay? And that way you can actually control it to the second from the bottom or if you want you can control to say third, fourth or however you wish, okay? So that's a way of controlling it. Now, if you want to use this as a force, it's quite simple. What you can do, what you're going to do is you're going to keep what you want to force at the very bottom, okay? And then you're going to use gravity as your advantage. Um, for what I do is at the start, it was actually hard to perform this move. So I, I, I held it in a modified mechanics grip where I had the pinky at the bottom like so. And then these fingers were not doing much. My thumb was here. And then with my right hand, using my right middle finger, index finger, and ring finger, I grab the very bottom card, which is a card that I'm going to force. And then while I, doing, while I was doing that, I started to spread out the cards like so. Okay, and basically what I just did is that I stole the card that I want to force. So red card should be right here. See, it's I just stole it. Okay, and then what after that, if you start curling it, what you're going to notice is that all the cards are going to go above the red card. And you're going to say, touch any card you want. And let's say the spectator touches this card. What you're going to do is you're going to close up and then score this packet. And then you're going to score this packet up by pushing them together like so. You're going to hold this vertically and you're going to hold this horizontally and just clap them together and you'll notice that they close, they are going to square up. And then what you're going to do is you're just simply going to show the card like this. You're not going to see them, but for this tutorial, I'll show you what it is, and it's a six of hearts, the card that you wanted to force. Again, I will go over that one last time really quick. So you're going to have what you want to force at the very bottom. You're going to hold it in a modified mechanics grip, and then you're going to use your middle finger to pull the very bottom card while you do the spread. And then you're going to scroll a lot of cards until the spectator touches this card. Let's say they touch this card. That I mean, this card this card you're going to curl it up to here and then you're going to hold this in a vertical motion vertically and then you're going to hold this horizontally and you're just going to slot them together that squares it up and then you're going to show their card which is the six of hearts so there we go guys that's the tutorial guys and i hope you enjoyed it if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe i'll see you next time